Set free standing. <laughs> hey man, we checking in on this set free standing. Um, Ellis and I, and uh, you know we want to talk about freedom ain't always free. The reason why we're doing this like this this week is because actually Friday was my uh, 13 years free post incarceration, man. And, and it, it, it was tough, it was a lot of challenges. And um, I was thinking about one presentation that I gave to a group of youth. And I started off with a, with a, a jarring question. I said, um, how many of y'all want to go to prison when y'all grow up? Nobody raised their hand. And I said, neither did I. I said, as a matter of fact, when y'all, when I was y'all age, I wanted to be a young astronaut. I wanted to be an astronaut. I was in a young astronaut program. And um, so the pondering question was, how did I go from being like a good student, wanting to be a young astronaut, to having a Department of Corrections now? And I remember you said one time, um, the penitentiary isn't as far as people think it is. Why, why did you say that? Yeah, because uh, basically to bounce off what you just said, most people that's in prison didn't plan to be there. Like when you ask the question who want to be in prison, nobody raised their hand. Nobody, nobody. plans nobody plans to be there. Uh, but but yet still we end up there sometime. You know, because a lot of us believe that, you know, prison is just so far away. Even, even in our wrongdoing. Because out of all the the wrong I was doing in the streets, I never really was like, oh, I'm gonna get caught tomorrow. That was never a thought. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like I got away today, I'm gonna get away tomorrow, and I'm gonna continue to get away as long as I'm doing this. That's the mindset. You get complacent with doing wrong, and that's when that hammer fall, boom. And then you not, you get up out the balls. Right. It, interestingly enough, in, in my case, I was like, um, it'll never happen to me. Of course. Right. Now, this, this is the thing. Because we said 13 years free. So that meant, you know, a turning point occurred. And um, the turning point was when I realized it can happen to me. So if that could happen to me, the good things could happen to me. Like, I can turn my life around. Um, I can get a job. I can graduate from college. Like, everything that people are say because of our past or wherever we come from can't happen. Actually can. We have to believe it. In spite of all the obstacles. Um, that we faced and then from that point it was it was just when I realized that it can happen the challenge was to make it happen so now how do I make it happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. when you believe it's possible now your brain go to find a way to bring it to fruition mm -hmm. 